For this Hooksit resident, recycling trash pays off in more ways than one. But also it's helping our environment and also I got my kids in the car, so you know, setting an example for them. But temporarily, this will be the only way to do your recycling. According to the Public Works Department, the town won't separate materials collected at curbside. Instead, those items will all be incinerated. We presented a budget a year ago that we have just started on July 1st, and it's budgeted for $20 a ton. In one fiscal year, recycling costs have skyrocketed to $114 per ton. If they stayed the course, Public Works estimates they would have been $100,000 in debt. Well, not surprised. Uh, this has been coming for a long time. The Northeast Resource Recovery Association says last year China shut its doors to receiving international waste, forcing domestic markets to find a place for the 30 percent of trash it shipped out. In New Hampshire, there's just one facility that incinerates roughly 250,000 tons of the state's one and a half billion tons of annual trash. Short term is uh, don't panic um, and try and, and do the best you can to reach to separate as much as you can, because there's still markets for that. And that option is still available in Hooksit. You'll just have to transport it to the landfill yourself. Part of the recycling mess that we have out there right now is people are putting in, they're contaminating the loads. They're putting in everything but the sink and sometimes the sink. It's kind of our responsibility to do it, isn't it? Um, so I feel like if we can save money and continue to be able to recycle, then maybe more people can take initiative to do that. The Northeast Resource Recovery Association says the rise in recycling costs have happened nationwide. They forecast the market should even out as the United States uses better quality of products that are easier to recycle.